guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on our test account and the patch notes are up. That's right, guys. As we're getting into um, the fourth anniversary, which is going to be coming pretty soon, patch notes are here, guys, and we get a new Graveborn. That is right. Everyone said from looking at what Dolly was saying that it is going to be a new Graveborn, and that, in fact, is true, which is awesome because on the YouTube account, we have every single Graveborn at five stars um, except the Awakened version of Baden. We're getting Edwin the uh, us, Usurper? Usurper. Um, again, pronunciation, not really my thing, but Edwin is who we are getting, guys. So very cool. Um, there is a little snapshot of him over in, I believe, Dolly's Corner. That is kind of the um, the shaded version with the question mark. So we're going to have to wait and see exactly what he, can, uh, what he looks like. I tried to find a couple pictures of him and could not find it. Now, in addition, guys, the new Abyssal Expedition is here. That is right. We've seen the sneak peek that came over, I believe it was over on... Um, Facebook a little while ago, so we are going to have the Abyssal Expedition. Make sure, again, that you're in an active guild if you're looking to really do this. And we get a new boss, so it is not the new, the old boss, guys. It is Claw, Claw Lossus, so I think it's like Colossus, but with Claw. Um, we've seen the ship over there. It almost looked like a haunted pirate ship. You can enter the challenge once you reach the Sunken Cemetery. So very cool, guys. Added a new function called Ocean's Pride, which, when activated, grants battle bonuses to militia members so we're gonna have to see exactly how that is going to work in this experimental season of the abyssal expedition um they really really include that part leaderboard displays will will be maintained but no rank rewards will be issued which is okay and optimize the enraged mechanic in the boss battle now the last couple ones we've seen a couple broken attributes um with just damage going through the roof, things of that nature. So we wanna make sure again, this is the trial version. This is the experimental version. This is the test version um, of the Abyssal Expedition. So added the adventure cycle of sorrow to the Voyage of Wonders. Guys, last Voyage of Wonder gave us 5,000 diamonds, which is awesome. I'm hoping this one is gonna give us some cards. Really waiting to pick up some additional uh, time emblems out of there, not the Stargazer cards. So it'd be really cool to see them. Added the Forgotten Runes to the Wandering Balloon. At this point, guys, the old voyages are going into the Wandering Balloon. We probably have close to 20 plus of them at this point. An amazing place to pick up loot. New Misty Valley, which again is another place to pick up loot. Um, there is a ton of absolute choice loot within the Misty Valley. Make sure you're completing that game mode. Reduce difficulty of certain floors between 1650 and 700. And also added 1,750 floors in total for the King's Tower, so very cool. Faction towers are at 1,000 plus, guys. Climb to 1,020 floors. I believe I'm 800, 8, 850 for most of the floors, so still got a lot of room to push. With the addition of being able to push up to 60 floors in a single day, um, because of the rollovers, that is awesome to see that we're adding more floors in there. And reduce the, the difficulty of certain floors between 640 and 660 of the Celestial Sanctum. That's another place that I still have a lot of places to go. Now, added a series of optimizations for the Oak Inn. Now, this was a big thing, guys, that a lot of players were talking about, the Oak Inn. Now we have more regular faction heroes than we have slots within the Oak Inn. So there had to be an optimization. There had to be a way to actually build this out um, to make it viable for the heroes. So increase the maximum floor limit of the Oak Inn to 40 floors. So I believe that is 40 floors per tower. Currently, I think it was 20. I, I, and again, just thinking off the top of my head, I think it was 20. Optimize the decoration function for the Oak Inn. After setting decorations on the first floor of the building, you can quickly auto-decorate the entire building with the auto-decorate function. Very cool with that, guys, the auto-decorate function. Um, if you set, let's say, the main floor to a Greyborn and you have all Greyborns in your tower, you can just decorate them all Greyborn. Very, very cool. Um, added a multi-buy function to the workshop when you have 100 heroes with a full set of fully upgraded mythic furniture, you'll unlock the multi bank function, which will allow you up to 500 summons at once. That means we can just do it all at once. We'll unlock the multi buy function, which will allow up to 500 summons at once. I think it's just gonna be one, one literally mass pull with, with a snap of the fingers. Um, that you're going to be able to just go in there, which is awesome because if you're sitting on, let's say, you know, 100,000 poke coins, um, and then some of my accounts I do because we are waiting for the new hero to come, that's going to be awesome for this multi buy function. If we have, when you have 100 heroes with fully, that's a lot, guys. Um, 
we're gonna have to check out exactly what that looks like not sure if i'm gonna have it over on the test server but definitely on the youtube we'll be able to have it um optimize the upgrade mythic furniture function when the upgrade requirements are met you'll be able to upgrade all heroes with the rapid shrink function or upgrade a specific furniture type in a hero's room yeah we're, we're gonna have to check that out as well optimize the stargazing mechanic of the stargazer when there are fewer than 10 stargazer cards diamonds can be used to make up the shortfall to complete 10 draws now that one a little bit kind of questionable because a lot of players say due to the pity timer don't always do the 10 pulls go ahead and do um the the five pulls or, or the single pulls within there um i i like the optimization but i think it's just going to lead more players to doing 10 pulls i don't know if there's any truth behind that mythic said or excuse me um lilith said that it doesn't make a difference every single poll is independent now again we know there is a pity timer at i believe 65 um we're gonna have to do some some actual lot of single pulls in there to see exactly what it is so just the balance of hogan's skill cleave and the shadow invasion if you use hogan don't um it really doesn't help Optimize the logic by which the achievement system is shown. Incomplete limited events will no longer be displayed after the update. Optimize the uh, personalization interface. And then a couple game adjustments with Palmer. Fix an issue that was preventing skill effects from playing normal in circum certain circumstances. Mulan fixed an issue that was preventing skill from being played normal. Optimize the description of the upgraded Eternal Graving Relentless Pursuit the battle description actually matches the effect um we have they went in here fixed an issue with rare circumstances i'm not really too big on the rare circumstances if they were reworking these heroes guys that would really make a big difference for real extreme circumstances the energy recovery granted to surrounding allies was wrong um dress titus a lot of these guys a lot of heroes in here we're, we're not even really seeing much anymore um dress when he was away from the battlefield his ultimate skill did not work properly Titus fixed in issues where an extreme circumstances caused the shield to be removed. Olgath fixed an issue that certain extreme circumstances wrongly interrupted the ultimate. And then, of course, the polar beast fixed an issue in certain extreme circumstances. And, of course, they don't tell us what these extreme circumstances are. That the Tundra Freeze was triggered wrongly. So, overall, guys, a couple minor changes to a few heroes. Um, big thing, of course, um, is the Mythic Furniture. I, I want to see exactly what that is that is when i believe you're adding in the strengthened furniture so we're gonna to have to check that out um oaken getting a little bit of a revamp also some additional floors to the king's tower and also the faction towers and everything else misty valley is up new voyage of wonder then of course the big thing guys the abyssal expedition and the new graveborn hero edwin all right guys so that'll do our for our patch notes let me know in the comments what you guys think and as always thank you guys for watching